But there's another subset that you could stop doing. It might be a little thing. Well, that's fine. Stop doing it and see what happens. Do you not know what you thought you knew? Are you not who you think you are? Do you not work hard enough? Are your values not organized properly? Do you misuse your time? Are you in the wrong field? Is the way you're construing your life completely inappropriate? Are you acting out what your parents wanted you to do and you're pissed off about it so you're only running at 40% to spite them despite the fact that they're paying $25,000 a year for your education? Because that's a fun game. Yeah, I'll go do what you want me to do, but I'll fail. But not completely because then that would, wouldn't cost you very very much. I'll just fail a little bit so that you have to spend all that money forcing me to do what I don't want to do, but you'll never get to escape from it. And then every time we interact, I'll stab you in various ways that you don't quite understand just to show you how irritated I am that I happen to be acting out the destiny that you've put forward for me. So maybe that's part of the dragon, right? And then that pulls in the whole parent thing. And you know, it's, it's it, these are bottomless pits often. When you're in the world and something objects to you, something that matters objects to you, then in the entire unrealized world is in that thing that objects. It's all tangled up inside it. That's why it's the great dragon of chaos. It's everything that's outside of your conceptual structure. How to give it your all. Do you not know what you thought you knew? Are your values not organized properly? Is your time mismanaged? Are you acting out what your parents expected? Stop doing the things you know are wrong that you can stop doing. Anything not in your best interest, stop. Maybe it's too much of a sacrifice or you don't have enough discipline. Maybe those things are little. Great, if they're little, stop doing them. Then your vision will clear. Stop saying things that make you weak. If you say things as true as you can say them, they come from the depths of inside you. The reason to become educated is because a person who is intelligent, eloquent, and articulate, when you are articulate and good at arguing, you win everything. When you win, everyone around you wins. Stop doing the things that you know are wrong that you could stop doing, right? So it's, it's, a fairly, it's a fairly limited attempt. First of all, we're not gonna say that you know what the good is or what the truth is in any ultimate sense. But we will presume that there are things that you're doing that for one reason or another you know are not in your best interests. There's something about them that you just know you should stop. They're kind of self-evident to you. Other things you're gonna be doubtful about. You're not gonna know which way is up and which way is down. But there are things that you're doing that you know you shouldn't do. Now, some of those you won't stop doing for whatever reason. You don't have the discipline or maybe there's a secondary payoff or you don't believe it's necessary or it's too much of a sacrifice or you're angry or resentful or, or afraid, who knows? So forget about those for now. But there's another subset that you could stop doing. It might be a little thing. Well, that's fine. Stop doing it and see what happens. And what'll happen is your vision will clear a little bit. And then something else will pop up in your field of apprehension that you will also know you should stop doing and that you could stop doing because you strengthened yourself a bit by stopping doing the particular stupid thing that you were doing before. That just puts you together a little bit more. And you could do that repeatedly for, for an indefinite period of time. And then what I tried to do, what I learned to do, I think, was to stop saying things that made me weak. And that, that, I mean, I'm still trying to do that because I'm always feeling when I talk whether or not the words that I'm saying are either making me align or making me come apart. And I think the alignment, I really do think the alignment, I think alignment is the right way of conceptualizing it because I think if you say things that are as true as you can say them, let's say, then they come up, they come out of the depths inside of you. Because we don't know where thoughts come from. We don't know how far down into your substructure the thoughts emerge. We don't know what processes of physiological alignment are necessary for you to speak from the core of your being. We don't understand any of that. We don't even conceptualize that, but I believe that you can feel that. And I learned some of that from reading Carl Rogers, by the way, who's a great clinician, uh, because he talked about mental health in part as the coherence between the, the spiritual or the abstract and the physical, that the two things were aligned. And there's a lot of idea of alignment in, in psychoanalytic and clinical thinking. But anyways, I decided that I would start practicing not saying things that would make me weak. And what happened was that I had to stop saying almost everything that I was saying. I would say 95% of it. It's a hell of a shock to wake up. And I mean, this was over a few months, but it's a hell of a shock to wake up and realize that you're mostly dead wood. And you've got these unbelievable libraries that are full of the writings of people mm -hmm. who are intelligent and articulate beyond comprehension. 
and you know you can go there and you can learn all this and you might think well why should you learn it well you, you learn it to get a job or you learn it to get good grades or you learn it to get a degree and that's all nonsense it's nonsense the reason that you come to university to be educated is because there is nothing more powerful than someone who is articulate and who can think and speak it's power and i mean power of the best sort it's authority and influence and respectability and competence and so you come to university to craft your highest skill and your highest skill is to be found in articulated speech if you're a master at formulating your arguments you win everything and better than that when you win everything everyone around you wins too because to transform yourself into let's consider your transformation to something approximating the logos it means you shine a light on the whole world well there's nothing more exciting to do than that there's nothing better you can possibly do and to think that you're coming to university to be you know trained to have a job it's like great that's a hell of a lot better than being unemployed and covered with cheeto dust while you're snacking away in front of your video game in the basement but it's hardly a triumphant call to being in the world and that's what university should be calling for it's like god you people you you know i i know what harvard students are like i taught here for five years you people are spectacular thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more content